say whatever it is you want to say. Wow me. Welcome to this vlog. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe. Um, like. Say welcome to this Yeah. Place. Please subscribe, like. Okay, comment, we're gonna share. start that again. Starting from the beginning. <laughs> so this is what you're going to say. You're going to say, hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Please subscribe. Please share. Please like. Leave a comment. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hey guys, welcome to this week's I love vlog. the energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> please share, please like, please subscribe. Leave drop a, a comment. comment. And uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. Oh, I like that. <laughs> hey guys, um, welcome to this week's vlog. We're having lunch today. Today is Sunday, June... What's the date? June uh, 13. 13th. And myself, Les, my friend. I haven't seen Les since... I think the last time I saw you, I came to drop off small shops at the house. Yes, so that was like late last year. Late last year. I haven't seen her since last year. And Sweetie's here as well. She's reading the menu so seriously. Where is this? The Caesar is not the menu, right? It's not. It's our brunch special. Okay. But we're not offering brunch right now. Okay. So I'm not going to bring the menu out. And oh. Oh, why are you guys not offering brunch? Because we're still transitioning into the open. So we're slowly bringing the whole menu back. Mm. Uh. And we're also rehiring for like our entire right, kitchen. Right. So. Yeah. Right now, we are offering most of the full menu. There's a few apps we don't have at the moment. Mm -hmm. We don't have oysters, the poke bowls, just because we haven't brought in um, in the ingredients for it yet. And yeah. then all the pizzas are fair game. The okay. bun, the bun area. Like sandwiches? Yeah. Buns, yeah. We don't have a sandwich. So what do you guys have? So we have all the pizzas. We've got like for apps like we still bought like our short ribs, short ribs, burrata, and the same tartare. Mm. Salads we have. Okay, I'll, I'll start with the mimosa. Of course, yeah, I'm sorry too. about that. Yeah. I'm like dying for the brunch to come back to you, so I feel you. Place the food order, or would you like a few minutes? Uh, I think we're ready to place yeah. the food order. What pizza do we want? We want something with meat. Right? So the dirty is my favorite. It's got meatball, pepperoni, and uh, peppers. Hot That's peppers. The first one. Yeah, yeah the first dirty. One. So should we do that one? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, so we'll have one dirty. Okay. No, how many pizzas do we one, have? One. one. Only one? Yeah. But yeah, we're three sharing getting... the pizza. I'm taking just one slice. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, yeah. so we'll have one dirty. Okay. And then you guys wanted a stack short ribs. Yeah. So two stack short ribs. Okay. And you know what? I think I'll have the, instead of the burrata, I'll have the meatball mini. Yeah. There's three, there's three in there. Three mini sliders. Okay. And then, okay, so we have one meatball mini, two stack short ribs, one dirty pizza. And that's it, right? Yeah. I'd say that's a good amount. For that's a good amount? I would say so. And like I said, I'll, I'll be around. So if you want to add anything, let me know. Okay, okay thank, you. thank you. Yeah, One thing Leslie called me, he's telling me about his keto diet. I want to hear the sentence. And he's telling me about how the things that we're eating and I, ha I have to be more careful about the food. No, to be honest, that's why we're here. Please, please, what was the sentence? So now he's very serious about I've his health. I've had a lot of things mm -hmm. over the past month, yeah. right, that has put my body under subjection. Right. Right. So, so you're not trying to let your body, like, to be subjected to, he, like... You get me. To, like, right? Like, food is not the leader, like you are. Can I have some water? <laughs> live! Live! That's all I will tell you. No, that is all I No, see, to be fair, to be very... No, I but really I think... No, people. but I, really see, I understand like, what he's saying. I, I think do, it's a disciplined thing. I do. But there's a balance. That's what I'm saying. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I fully respect it. I, me, one hundred percent. I'm not even about like trying to change your mind because me, I go on these things and like nobody she knows. Nobody can change my mind when I say Right, right. But personally, I personally seen that this life is a yolo situation. It's a yolo situation. I've done the whole fit thing and like, I'm oh my like, god, you, you know, guys diet. I'm not. Like it's like you know, I feel you. Trust me. I tell you. I know. I know. And if there's anything I like, it's like this enjoyment. So balance. Yeah, it balance. Yeah, it balance. But yeah, I mean, that's really good. Thank you. 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 It's hot. It's hot for you. But you know what? This might actually work since I've been sober for how long? 
What do you mean by you've been sober? You drank yesterday. Like, no, now, like, we haven't been drinking as much. You know what you're. Sweetie, sweetie, do you know what sober is? Sober oh, is you're not drinking yes, alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not sober, but, like, obviously, we've been on a decline. <laughs> Our alcohol consumption has been on a decline hey, for God. the last couple of months. Since y'all looked at me in the face, yesterday, we, we actually, she actually drank. I literally and had, like, two shots of JD. Come on. Two shots. Two. This looks really nice. I like the pizza. And the ribs. I hope it's smart too. Who wants to take the first taste? My mini meatballs. Oh my goodness, Leslie. Mmm. Mmm. Susie ordered another cocktail. Yes, this is how I'm feeling about being let out. <laughs> Two cocktails ready to go. <laughs> Let's start with this one. Please let go. A tasting. Yeah, we're having a taste session. Do you want to taste it? Yeah. Let us know what it tastes like. Less is our guinea pig. You'll be a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to taste good. Oh, this sauce is nice. So I know that's going to be nice. Mm. Does it taste good? Sauce. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Sweetie? Mm -hmm. Mm. It tastes good. Mm, mm. Mm. Okay, you know what then? I'll, how about I taste the pizza first? Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, the meat is really soft. <laughs> mm. The meat is really soft. Mm. See how it like breaks down here? Mm -hmm. The balance of it. We might have to do another one. Let's see how this pizza goes down. I like the rain. You guys, when was saying it's gonna rain. Hello, guys. Happy Tuesday. Today is June 15th. Today is June 15th and I am sitting down on my dining table actually working. My computer is in front of me. Um, I also have like my notepad in front of me because I was taking some notes of things that I have to get done between today and tomorrow. Actually this whole week. So yeah, it's been a busy day. It's currently 11.38 so it's almost 12. If I seem tired, it is honestly because I am using my last energy to try and round up my fast. Um, you guys know I have been intermittent fasting for a while now and I am now, I believe this is week, I started beginning of June and this is the, is this the third week of June or the second week? This is the, what's today's date again? The 14th. So this is the third week, you guys. I'm spacing out, I'm spacing out. We're in the third week of June um, and my intermittent fasting is going real well. But the only thing is it's that time of the month, so... It's kind of difficult for me because I want to eat every hour on the clock and I'm trying my best to be very very disciplined because the whole point of doing this is to build discipline so I'm just like if I eat now it's gonna defeat the whole purpose and I have already come this far so I'm gonna keep going so if my energy seems low it's honestly because I'm trying to just use what I have in my reserve for the la for the next one hour and then I'm going to end my fast yeah anyways today we're actually going to be doing a couple of exciting things i don't know if i've told you guys this but i am working with crate and barrel to refresh my apartment if you don't follow me on instagram that's where all the tea is okay go follow me on instagram because last year i worked with crate and barrel <clears throat> i also did a collaboration sorry i also did a giveaway in collaboration with them for the holidays um where i give away 500 dollars um to one of my followers to just like shop on crate and barrel crate and barrel is like that store for like decor and furniture and stuff like that and i love working with them i absolutely love working with the team they're such a pleasure to work with so we worked together for the last for the first time last year and now we are working together again because i want to refresh my apartment like i want to change up some pieces of decor um in the living area um, I also got some appliances that I also wanted in the kitchen. Um, so yeah, we are working again together and I am doing another giveaway in collaboration with them. I am going to post the giveaway details on my YouTube because I love you guys, but I'm also going to be doing it, I think, mainly on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Go and follow me on Instagram. Obviously, I'm going to leave my Instagram handle on the screen. So please go follow me there. So yeah, they've sent over um, some of my picks. So I went on their website and I selected some things that I wanted. Um, and they sent over 
some of them so they're coming in like little batches and I got the first batch and it's just here. I'm actually going to unbox it for you guys. I wanted to unbox it on my Instagram stories, but I was like, mm, you know, I think I'm going to leave it as a vlog content for this week. So that came in. I also got some of these things that I bought last week, like clothes from Roof Shop. My clothes from Roof Shop came in. Um, I, if I don't show you guys that today, I'm going to show you guys tomorrow. Um, I also ordered some things from Hudson Bay. Because Hudson's Bay is doing a really, really good sale right now. So you guys should check it out. Um, I like Hudson's Bay for stuff like, you know, they have really good clearance on shoes, on designer shoes, on designer bags, on like homeware as well. They have really good clearance prices. So check out Hudson's Bay if you are in the market to shop for different things right now. I do like Hudson's Bay. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I think we can just go straight into unboxing the stuff that i got let me just show you guys while i wait for my fast and i think that's going to be a good use of the time to while away time i got my scissors we are starting off with the hudson's bay box let's see i got i think a couple of shoes i don't even remember what i got from hudson's bay i just be ordering stuff these days. last night i like just did this very impromptu order that cost me like 600 bucks <laughs> it was so wild because when I woke up this morning, I was like, wait, what was I doing last night? I was shopping. I was shopping, y'all. I couldn't sleep and I was buying stuff. Okay, so majority of the stuff that I bought from Hudson's Bay um, were actually shoes. And they were not a lot. Oh, I only bought four pairs. So the first pair of shoes I'm going to show you is from this brand called Elias May. I think that's how it's pronounced. Elias May. I actually got two pair of shoes from them. I saw them first on Revolve um, and I actually bought the pairs of shoes on Revolve. So this is what happened. I saw them on Revolve. I bought the shoes on Revolve and then that same day I went, I went on Hudson's Bay and Hudson's Bay was having this really good sale and the shoes were cheaper on Hudson's Bay. So I called Revolve and I cancelled my order and I just bought them on Hudson's Bay. So the first pair of shoes that I ordered from Elias May are this black um, sandals and they have this really nice gold detail that I believe is also supposed to go across your ankle um, they are really really nice they're giving me Bottega vibes and I think this was only about a hundred and thirty something dollars if I remember clearly I'm gonna check my receipt and put the price on the screen so you guys can know how much it was but I, I believe it was like I don't think it was up to 150 I'm gonna check and I'm gonna confirm, but these look so good. They're giving me Bottega vibes and the soles as well have like this um, thingy on the bottom. I don't know what, they, what to call them, like traction. Yes, so you don't slip and fall. I know that the new Bottega shoes have this underneath as well. They're so, so pretty. I love them so much. The second one that I bought are this pair of um, chunky slippers. I don't know if you guys have been following trends, but I believe these are called the dad slippers and they're chunky at the bottom. Um, very, the, the soles are actually pretty soft. I like how soft they are. Um, and I just bought this because I don't have any slippers that I could just use to wear and go out. Um, and I thought this would be very good. I believe these were like $30. Third pair of shoes that I bought are, hold on. They're also from Elias May. This is what they look like. They are just regular brown sandals that you can tie, I believe, around your ankle. Um, and the heels don't look uncomfortable. I don't know, but because we haven't been wearing heels as much for the past year, I've kind of forgotten how to wear heels. I don't know if this is happening with anybody else. So I'm not buying any shoes that are like crazy high stilettos. I want things that are very comfortable. I'm trying to stop wearing kitten heels as much because my sisters make fun of me that I dress like a grandma and every time I only wear kitten heels. So I'm trying to I'm trying to diversify. But yeah, these are really, really cute. Once again, the sole is really soft, so I don't feel like I'm gonna be stepping on um like a hard surface and they're just regular brown sandals i absolutely love these like i absolutely love them guys i can see myself wearing these a lot and i got this in a size 39. okay now time for us to look at what we got from ruby i know how to say this i just say a roof shop because that makes the most sense okay so first impressions 
I do like the material. This is my first time shopping from this brand. So I didn't know what to expect. But first impressions, I like the material. It's very, very light. Um, and I'm happy about that because this is supposed to be a summer outfit. And if I was going to wear this in the winter, I'd probably just wear like a turtleneck underneath it. But I really like the material. Okay, so first things first is this dress. I'm gonna leave a photo on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. It gets up to just about my, um, it doesn't actually get up to my knee, it's quite short. I feel like when I wear it, it is going to be shorter because my hips, my thighs, my boobies, is gonna carry it up. Um, but I do like the material and it stretches. It stretches so I know it's going to fit. Like I'm not bothered about the sizing at all. I'm not bothered because I know this is going to fit because of how much it stretches. Uh, so yeah. I actually really like this. I think this was about 66 Canadian dollars. Hold on. It doesn't say on the on the label, but I think this was about 66 Canadian dollars. It was not expensive at all. Didn't charge me any duties or anything when, you know, it got shipped. I didn't have to pay duties, which is amazing. Because shopping in Canada and shipping stuff in here from overseas is like it's a gamble sometimes. We don't know if you're going to pay duties or not. So this is the first one. I'm gonna just leave that here. The second one, the second stuff that I bought, which one is this? Is this a bodysuit? Oh yes, this is the bodysuit. I love the material. I was a little worried that it was going to be thick because they said it was jersey, but ain't nothing thick about this. This is pretty light airy material and it's this bodysuit that I got. I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can obviously see what it looks like on the website. Let me put my hand through this because I think my only fear is if it's going to fit my arm. Oh, okay. That is super tight. <laughs> that is super tight, guys, but it's not something that I cannot work with. I got it in a size medium. Everything that I got from them is in a size medium. Uh, it's not something that I cannot work with, but it is, it is pretty tight. It's pretty tight. I'm not going to lie. It stretches, which is amazing. Amazing. Okay. So this skirt, this is what it looks like. I'm also going to put a photo on the screen. Um, it's just a regular skirt, I think, with like ruching at the, at the sides. And then I bought the matching top. This is the top that I was kind of, you know, I was conflicted on if I wanted to buy the long sleeve with the um, open back or the short sleeve. And I actually went with the short sleeve just because I bought a long sleeve dress. And I kind of wanted to test out the brand first and if I like it, I'll go back and buy more. So, I actually like this. It's airy enough. This is quite light as well. It's a light material. It stretches. This doesn't have as much stretch though. This does not have as much stretch as the other items but it stretches to a reasonable amount and this is what it looks like and guys price with mail is the truth don't let anybody tell you otherwise okay eat your fries with mail i don't know if you guys can notice but my skin is super dry my skin is super dry because I just started the um, prescribed skincare from the dermatologist. So this morning I used the benzoyl peroxide. I think that's what it's called. And it is drying my skin out, y'all. Like, my skin feels like cement. Like, I was telling my friend this morning that my skin feels like it's hard. And so I'm going to find uh, a highest strength moisturizer for, for my skin. I think I want to go to Sephora. Um, sometime today I have a meeting by 3 o'clock and then after my meeting I think I'm gonna go to Sephora and see if I can find something wait which Sephora is even open because the closest one to me is not and I don't want to have to go downtown because there's always a freaking queue downtown there's always a freaking queue downtown and I'm just not in the mood for that hmm I'm gonna go to Heartland <laughs> The last one would be like a really good match considering. And that's the balloon? Yeah. Considering like your forehead, 
and then your cheek and your neck. I think like that's a uh, good like right in between all those three, especially it's more like your undertone as well. Mm -hmm. So I have like a golden undertone or is it cool? This one, this, not even uh, sure. this shade is falling under a cool undertone. Mm -hmm. I got home from Sephora and I saw that I got the second box of my Crate and Barrel shipment. So let us unbox them together. It's filled with like decor and like different stuff that I wanted to get for the apartment. Um, and all of that good stuff and I'm gonna show you guys wait before I even do that let me just say that I am going to be doing a giveaway excuse me I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in collaboration with Crate and Barrel over like sometime in the next two weeks but you have to be following my Instagram to enter the giveaway and to participate in the giveaway so I'm gonna leave my Instagram on the screen it's also in the description box below if you're not following me on Instagram please go follow me on Instagram um, so that you can enter the giveaway yeah so that being said let us see the goodies that i got i just realized that this vlog is filled with a lot of unboxing so pardon me if it's a long vlog okay this week we just got a lot of packages a whole lot of packages i got this cushion because i wanted more pillows on my couch um currently i only have two pillows on my sofa and one pillow on my armchair and I wanted to incorporate more pillows and more prints in the apartment. And so I got this really beautiful abstract pillow. I really, really like it. I also like it because this is something that if I decided I can put outdoor. Um, but yeah, right now it's going to be on my couch. So that's the first thing that I got. I'm actually just going to throw this on the couch. Same. Perfect. Okay. The next thing that I got is this clay vase this is what it looks like it's a clay vase and i want to actually put this on my dining table so i want to replace this this one here this um bowl with this clay bowl did i say vase it's actually a bowl with this clay bowl oh i wish you guys could see how it looks right now it looks so so pretty this is exactly what i had in mind so it's very light it fits into the aesthetic i'm gonna use it like to hold my keys and just to hold some things um that i would usually put in the other bowl it's so pretty and it fits the table so well too love it this is a throw and i got it for my armchair i believe i got two of them and I got one for my armchair and one for my sofa. I love the color. Like it just, and it feels so soft. It feels so, so soft. But the color is what's getting me. So it's like a mixture of gray and um, off-white and stuff like that. And it just, it fits so well into the rest of the apartment. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. And it's so soft. It is so, so soft, guys. So I also got this cushion insert because I said I wanted additional cushions on my couch and so I got this cushion insert and it's going to go with this cushion cover. So it's really just um, a beige cushion cover with black linings on the side and this is going to go in here. This pillow is going to go in here and I'm going to put it on my couch. Did I get two of these? What is this? oh okay i got this beautiful acrylic so pretty i love this i love this so much i got this beautiful acrylic um what you might call it um photo frame photo frame and i want to put i have this picture of my sisters and i want to put it in this frame because I realized that I don't have any like personal photos in the apartment and I don't like that so I'm going to put a photo that I have of my sisters here and then put it on the console. Um, so yeah, I really like this. Uh, it's weird that it doesn't have a stand though. So does it just stand by itself? Oh, it does. I got a juicer because I have been saying I want to get into juicing just because of all of the healthy benefits of juicing and I just feel like... For me to get the maximum results, I have to get a juicer and not use my blender because I tried using my blender and absolutely the ghetto. 
it was absolutely the ghetto and so I saw this really nice juicer on Crate and Barrel and I decided you know what I'm gonna get a juicer because that's just what big girls do right we have juicers and so I got this juicer <laughs> I got this big Breville juicer this is what it looks like you can see what it looks like at the back I don't know where I saw this I feel like it was on Pinterest but somebody had this really cool tic tac toe decor thing um so this is what it's called it's a tic tac toe so it's basically x and o's like a tic tac and it's decor and so i'm gonna put it on i'm thinking of putting it on this table so that when people come around they can just play with it you know they can move the x's and move the o's and it's just such a cute fun engagement decor piece hold on it comes with all of the individual X and O's. Let me show you guys. The X and O's. Mm -mm. I am actually screaming at how adorable this is. I got this marble book end. This is what it looks like. It's a marble book end. And I got two of them to put on my... Um, office shelf because I also want to reorganize that I did not anticipate that they will be so heavy they are so heavy <laughs> there are two of them identical ones and they're so heavy but they're so cute like it's so so adorable I love it I got this vase do you guys say vase or vase I never know what to say I never know the appropriate thing to say vase or vase but I got this vase or vase whichever one you say um, and I'm just gonna put like some flowers in here and I'm actually gonna put that there as well I'm gonna clear out that entire console table and put new decor pieces up so this is something that I'm gonna put there and this is from the Leon Ford and Crate and Barrel collaboration she has a lot of cute pieces in that collaboration and they're very like contemporary modern pieces I got this disc sculpture and I honestly thought this was gonna go up on my reading shelf like as decor but it's way too big for that so now I think it's just gonna go on my console table like beside this vase and it's gonna be a whole moment it's gonna be a whole moment I'm just holding them together now they look so freaking cute so it's gonna be on that on that table with the vase I think that's the most appropriate place for it right now oh i just noticed something it has like this soft edges which is amazing meaning it will not scratch the surface of anything which i really do appreciate <sighs> i actually asked my followers on instagram what they thought about this and they chose it so this is what it looks like it is a bookend and it actually has two pieces this is one of two pieces and i'm just gonna put it up against the books like this right yeah so that is basically it for let me put this here so that's basically it for my crate and barrel unboxing there's just three candle holders that are supposed to be here that are not here um but that's okay i feel like i can just fit them in whenever they arrive i think they're delayed to arrive like mid july or something um so i can just throw them in the apartment whenever they arrive but basically that is all that i got i am very excited about everything that i got i'm very excited about everything that i got but i think the thing the one thing that's exciting me the most is definitely the tic tac um toe pieces they're so freaking cute as well as my juicer because i want to make juicing a lifestyle and that just makes it so much easier for me leave me a comment below which piece you think is the cutest out of all of the things that i unboxed um, I feel like I already know what people are going to love the most. Um, but leave me a comment below. Tell me which one you love the most. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. Let me clear this, clear this up. What's the time? It's past 10. I should be in bed. Hey guys. So I came into CB2 on Queen Street. Because I'm looking for some decor pieces. Um, to put on my office shelf. And so I'm just looking around the store to 
see what they have. They have some pretty cute things in store. This is like one of my favorite furniture stores in Toronto. This pillow is so freaking cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking around to see what they have. You were such a good attendant, Azuria. Have a good one. Bye. Yep. Oh, I forgot my phone. <laughs> My thing feel like it's moving in slow motion. Is it just me? Your oh, it's camera crazy. is dying. Yeah. Fix it. <laughs> okay, give me one to buy. Alma, big box Alma, like you. Get the hell out of my big face. Big money, babe. Hey guys, happy Saturday. As you can see, Pam the Hater is in the building. Today is Saturday, June, whatever today's date is. It's I'm gonna put it on the screen. Oh, is it? Yeah, today is Juneteenth. How can I forget? Today is Juneteenth. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go shoot some content. That's why I am all dolled up. I was shooting some reels before. Yo, it's bugging me. I feel like my camera is moving in slow motion, and the I don't know if I'm dying. imagining it. No, because it is because I can't it's dying. See. Your Oy camera's gonna life is near the end. Like, Oy it's, not gonna it's had a good run. It's time for you to let it go now. Do you guys see how I'm being dragged for no bloody reason? no bloody reason anyways um i was shooting some real content i'm waiting for yummy to get here pam you just literally changed my entire lighting get out of the light um so i'm waiting for yummy to get here and then we're gonna go shoot some content i feel like i'm gonna end the week's vlog here because just showing you guys all of the content that we're gonna shoot today is gonna be really hectic because we have so many things to do and we're gonna be running from one place to the other and i know that i won't be able to vlog i just know it Oh, Pam, this ring is cute. I'm tucked in my room. Anyways, so I think I'm gonna. Pam, do you think I should end the vlog here? Mm. I mean, you can start your vlog with the content. That's the thing. It's like I just vlog. feel like I feel like I'm not gonna be able to vlog that bit of it because it's gonna be a hectic day once Yumi gets here. So, anyways, I am going to end the vlog here. I have thought about it and I've made an executive decision to end the vlog here for this week. Um, I will see you guys next week on another vlog but before you go you know the deal please subscribe leave a comment share like turn on your post notifications i don't know what pam is doing behind me oh, but you, do -libs now. <laughs> you know do all of that good stuff because we do love to see engagement upon the vlogs we, we do. love it so much um so yeah i will see you guys in next week's vlog i'm see? looking at my console table because i kind of just redecorated the apartment actually let me tell you guys this i redecorated my apartment and i'm going to be posting bits and pieces on my instagram so if you're also not following me on instagram please go follow me on insta um so that you see all of the redecor things that i've done in the apartment for the summer please go follow me on instagram um I hope you all have a blessed Sunday or whichever day you are watching this video. I hope it's on Sunday because we love a first day watch, okay? I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!